I am in AKQA's uh, prototyping room. I'm here with Andy Hood, who is AKQA's Head of Emerging Technologies. Now, Andy is going to do something super exciting, which is hook me up to the Microsoft HoloLens. Uh, you may have heard of this. It's not a virtual reality headset. It's an augmented or mixed reality headset, and we're going to explore how it works. I can see the actual room still, just as though I'm wearing my normal glasses. And then it's a little bit like uh, there's a PC screen sort of just directly in front of my eyes. And if I turn my head away, that PC style screen moves with me and I can see different uh, objects in the room with me. And if I look down, I can see um, a sort of model city just here again. I can see a sort of virtual square, lots of little blocks. It's a bit like looking at a sort of Lego set, I suppose. Um, and if I sort of say, if I use the vocal command, I can adjust it slightly. Now, hopefully you will be able to see um, kind of what's going on. It's not me sort of doing the demo because I'm not good enough at doing it, but you can sort of get the idea of, of what I'm able to do. So if I say bigger, Okay, so I'm still wearing the HoloLens, but I've had a little play with it. It's quite different from putting on um, the Gear VR, and it's quite different from wearing an Oculus Rift, which is uh, more immersive. You're sort of locked into a completely different world, whereas with the HoloLens, you're sort of still very much aware of your actual physical location. You're not lost in another world, but you can see other elements uh, being brought in virtually. So um, a very different kind of experience. So Andy, uh, what you've got in your hand is the Microsoft HoloLens that I was uh, very gracefully wearing on my head. And I was, I was struggling with it a little bit. I couldn't quite sort of uh, do the controls straight off. It's, there's just like anything new. There's just a knack to it, basically. It's not that things do or don't work. That's actually um, pretty effective. It's just it needs a little bit of practice just to get used to the gestures and the tone of voice that you use in the, in the voice commands. So it's actually, it, it's pretty straightforward. I am holding a, a quite hefty looking Oculus Rift in my hand and it looks quite different from the HoloLens. Five years down the line, how might I, as a consumer or a brand, be using VR tech versus AR tech like the HoloLens? It's interesting that uh, I think the use cases are very different. Um, if you see people use a, a virtual reality headset, in a public space, there's a level of, of discomfort or vulnerability that comes from shutting yourself off from the real world with lots of people around you. It's interesting that this is actually a much more um, social uh, means of communication because you don't lose touch with the real world around you. 